Small Packages Written by 21KM to Nerdiness Sunset's Sushi Surprise Um, yeah. Can I get the, uh, Teki Maki, is it? Mm-hmm. Soy sauce would be good. Thank you. Okay, great. It's Kobe. It was a chill afternoon. Too lazy to get his narrow nerd behind up to get groceries for his humble apartment. Kobe was in the process of ordering from one of the most popular restaurants in the city, Kawaii Pony. Finishing his order, he frowned. The pony package? He pondered, clutching his phone for a quick search on the restaurant's website. Speedy delivery, cozy service, and customer satisfaction guaranteed. The description read, Uh, I'll suppose I'll get that then. Kobe scratched his head. Thank you again. Hanging up, the man strolled out of the kitchen into the living room with a heavy, lethargic sigh. He plopped into the deep depths of the couch's bulky cushions, sinking in as he flailed his arms to reach the TV remote. A soft thud tapped the door. Goodbye, comfy spot. Kobe grunted, wiggling out of the puckered seat's hold. I hardly knew ye. Who is it? At the door, Kobe spotted nobody through the people. Ready to conclude it to being ditchers, the same three knocks poked upon the door. Opening up, he took a quick peek around before looking down. Oh, the man uttered. Hey there, little one. What's your name? Looking back out at him was a small unicorn pony with a light amber coat, a fiery red and yellow mane and tail, all dressed up in a sushi-themed apron, topped off with an adorable pufferfish pin in her hair. Smiling with a white and blue tote bag crinkled between her lips, she puffed her chest to reveal her festive, fish-shaped name tag. Sunset Shimmer, huh? Kobe said to himself, turning his attention to the bag. Is that for me? The pony nodded warmly. Wow, that was speezy. Come on in. Ducking under the human's legs and towards the living room, Sunset placed the bag on the low table in front of the couch. Kobe watched on in awe as she set the table with chopsticks, sauces, everything. He sat down before the lovely spread, gratefully plucking a thin stack of bills for the mare to gratefully put and zip in her apron's pouch. Kobe dug into the cold but flavorful mail, humming in blissful delight as he tasted everything with the succulent sauces, washing it down with the occasional swigs of a warm cup of tea. As he savored the exotic dish, he turned to find the chipper pony sitting by his foot, watching him with shining eyes. Did you forget something? He asked. Want a tip? Sunset hopped onto the cushion beside the confused human with an enthused nod. Well, um, I'm sure I can find a couple bucks around here somewhere. Let me... The pony rested a hoof on his hand, shaking her head. No, you don't want money? Sunset shook her head again, rubbing her face against the knuckles of the man's hand with an adorable pout. What? You want me to pet you? She nodded. Hmm, the thing did promise cozy service. Odd, as weird as colorful unicorn delivering food to you is, I will admit you are super cute. Plus, I already sat down. Why not? A light squeak escaped the mare as she cutely squished her beaming cheeks with her hooves. Wiggling close, Sunset scooped Kobe's arms over her head, with her nose like a wee pup, moving to curl up on his lap. Her head rested on his chest, and Kobe brushed his soft strokes across her stylish mane, earning a thankful sigh from the small creature. Oh my gosh, you are so soft. Kobe cooed, his fingers lost in the floof. The ball of fuzz looked up to stick her tongue out with a silly wink before clinging to the man's arm to guide it to her little belly, caressing it in pleasing circles. Bah, does the sweet little pony like rubs? Sunset wiggled and shook her squishy limbs, nodding in excitement. <laughs> what a nice boop steal the deal for you, cutie. The mare's ears parked upon hearing the sacred word. Sitting up in her customer's lap, she twitched her nose expectantly. Kobe smiled, moving to raise a finger between her enormous anime-like eyes. 
Am I going to boop you here? Or am I going to boop you there? He giggled, zipping his hand all around the unicorn's blushing face. Or am I going to... Boop! The unicorn flinched in a happy shock. Her nose scrunched up from the surprise boop attack. Happy with her tip, Sunset leaped in to pull the man into a tight but soft huggle, planting a tiny kiss on his cheek. Ah, you're a sweetheart. Kobe cupped the little fuzzy's face to smooch her warm forehead. Mwah. Thank you very much. Everything was all lovely and satisfactory. Her job done, the cutie grabbed a tablet, holding out to show five blank stars in the screen. Rubbing a finger across it, Kobe highlighted all the stars. Oh, you've got yourself five awesome stars from me, little missy. With a grateful clap of hooves, Sunset finally hopped out of his lap. Her horn grew bright yellow, a tiny fortune cookie was levitated onto the man's hand. As she trotted towards the door, she paused. Miss something? Kobe asked. There she stood on her hind hooves, waving at the high doorknob to the human's embarrassment. Oh, my bad. He flung himself up to the hold the door open for the pony. Forgot about your smallness. Opening the packet, Kobe cracked the treat open. A smileless happiness you'll find right under your nose. It read. Since it waved Kobe down to her level. Boop. And she booped him. The unicorn balanced in a hyper circle until finally heading off. Turning to close the door behind him, Kobe reached for the phone. Yes, I have an emergency. I think I might have contracted diabetes this very moment. A nurse pony's on the way? Great. And there we go. Just a nice short fic. Uh, so I'm halfway through a nose nose, but I really wanted to put something out today. And I hope you guys enjoy this cute little fic. I really like this one. Anyways, I'd like to thank my Patreons. Chase the Master. HKH4 aka Texture. Triss. The Animated Ghost. And another large thank you to Silent Titan. I appreciate it a ton. Anyways, this has been Firehearth. Have a wonderful day.